Detective Sean Souter died on duty December, or excuse me, 2017 in West Baltimore. Police say it was suicide. His family says it was murder. WJC investigator Mike Helgen is live at City Hall where he spoke to Souter's widow. Mike. Vic and Denise, she came here to send a message. Even though this is very difficult for her, she wants city leaders to know that she's not going to give up on this case. Now, the state's attorney's office is reportedly still looking at evidence right now. Justice! Sean deserves justice! On the emotional deserves. second anniversary of Detective Sean, Sean Suter's death in the line of duty, deserves. his loved ones rallied in front of City Hall for answers, feeling city leaders have turned their backs on the slain detective. Suter's widow, Nicole. We want justice! My children and, and myself, we're going to do this. We're going to shout for justice. I don't think I've ever met a braver family, and I don't know how I'm the only one. <laughs> His lawyer, Jeremy Eldridge, has fought against the police commissioner's view that Souter's death was a suicide and sharply criticized the lack of police and elected officials here. To stand 50 yards from that police department and not see one damn cop here. Not one of them. But they feel bad for themselves on the news, go find somewhere else to feel bad. After a Maryland state police review of a past independent investigation, the commissioner said the case was closed last week, only changing his opinion after state's attorney Marilyn Mosby said it was not. So what I can say is I can't comment on open and pending matters. But it's not really technical close. I could have used a better choice of words. There are still a few items that are still uh, being worked on, and we will take this wherever it leads. The family believes it leads to murder. I may not be certain about a lot of things, but I know that suicide wasn't the answer. And we won't rest in and stop seeking justice until we get the right answers. Until I'm able to look his murderer in the face, we won't stop. And Detective Souter was shot the day before he was supposed to testify in front of a grand jury in a police corruption case involving the Gun Trace Task Force. The medical examiner still lists his death as a homicide. Live at City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ.